God, I cannot get this intro right. This is the fifth time I'm having to do this, because, like, uh, whatever. So, anyways, recently I purchased three larger bots from uh, tfsource.com, which I've purchased from them a number of times. But I think it might have been a case of I didn't read the fine print properly or something like that when it said how things are to be shipped or when they're supposed to be shipped. Because, like, the prices of the bots were fine, you know, whatever. But, and the shipping and handling seemed fine at the time when I clicked purchase, but for whatever reason, the shipping and handling was, was like way higher and was not at all what I was anticipating. So like, it might have been my fault that I spent well, almost $100 in shipping on handling for these three bots. I could be mistaken. I'm not entirely certain. I feel like I was ripped off, and yet somehow it may have been my fault for not paying attention. So... It, 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 it's kind of a bittersweet taste when it comes to these three bots. Um, unrelated, Hollywood has been doing a lot of really stupid things. I mean, not like they haven't been for the last five and a half years, whatever, but like recent developments are just like, oh God, you, you would think that Get Woke, Go Broke, and Without Respect We Reject would, would finally be taking their toll, but apparently they're not. So it's like, Hollywood just keeps doing the stupid and it's really depressing oh by the way transformers rise of the beasts which is kind of a terrible title whatever it is was recently announced and ron perlman is going to be optimus primal and here's the weird thing about it it's 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 the second movie to not be directed by michael bay i think he's had his fill of of bay formers at this point i, th I think he's fucking done with it so he might get like a producer or an executive producer credit or something like that i don't know he's not a writer so whatever but, uh, yeah, Rise of the Beasts was recently announced, and um, I think they've already started filming. I'm not entirely certain. My nose is itchy for some weird reason. Whatever. And, um, yeah, I, I don't know how I feel about that, so we'll see. Although, supposedly, it takes place in 1994, right when G2 was at its peak. So we'll see what, that ha we'll see what, what happens there. And then the third thing that motivated me in particular to choose this particular bot for unboxing in this particular video is that recently my parents got access or um, signed up with a streaming service called BritBox and I've started watching Doctor Who for the first time ever. Like, I've never seen it with my own eyes. I've never seen a full episode all the way through. Like, I've heard about it my entire life because it's been around. It's been around since 1963, so of course I've heard about it my entire life. But I know next to nothing about it. And considering all the shit that's been happening to it in the last three years, roughly, it's hard not to hear about it. But... But, but, you know, quite separately, my parents purchased BritBox because they watched some British television shows, whatever, recently, recently, whatever. Um, they've been watching sh some shows, and then I'm browsing through, okay, how bad can it be? Doctor Who. All right, I'll watch it. So I've been watching Doctor Who from the start, from 1963, the, the William Harnett series. Now, um, as of recording, I haven't finished season one yet, so I'm still within the, the original first 36 episodes. And for whatever reason, BritBox left, lost, left, pleh, heh, BritBox left a nine-episode gap in there. I can't think of where it is, but yeah. Anyways, there's a nine. There's like a, a nine-episode gap somewhere in there, so I'm actually missing nine episodes. Um, they're just like, I don't know if it's like they are not available or, you know, I did hear somewhere that like a number of the early seasons of Doctor Who were like actually lost forever because of archiving mistakes or there was a, a fire of some kind or something like that at the, at the storage facility. So like, I do know that there's some Doctor Who that's missing, but I've, but, but the point is I've never watched Doctor Who with my own eyes. I've never even, like, listened to the theme song. I, I don't know. I know that there's, like, 12 of them, and, like, okay, that's all well and good. But that being said, um, yeah, I'm, I'm watching it, and I'm getting through it. And so it seemed kind of appropriate, uh, since I'm watching Doctor Who, that uh, that this would be the first one that I would get into. It seemed, it, se it seemed appropriate in some way. And that is Transformers, War for Cybertron Trilogy, Earthrise, is this leader class? I want to say this is, yes, leader class, Decepticon Astro Train. And I'm obliged to point out that this is my very first Astro Train figure that I have ever owned. I have no other Astro Trains in my collection at this point. This is the very first one. Now, I do remember handling 
a childhood friend's Astro Train at some point, but honestly, I don't remember how I felt about it at the time because it's like you know I'm this tall and 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 G1 exists at that point, and I don't know if there was a G2 reissue of it. I I honestly don't know, but but in any event. I did have a chance to handle G1 Astro Train at some point, but I, I can't honestly can't give you my opinion. It's like okay, it's a robot in disguise. Like, okay, whatever. Um, and and quite frankly, would I like to get a G1 reissue of it? Sure, I don't I don't see why not. The train mode, there's kind of those wheels on the front that are very obviously wheels on the front. Like yeah, that would kind of bother me. And then there's um, kind of the the weird mo or not mohawk. There's the the flat top, whatchamacallit, all just behind the head of the, sh or just behind the cockpit of the shuttle mode, and that's okay, and then, and then the actual ast and then the, the, the robot mode, his arms are really, really tiny, his legs, the way they tell, the, his, yeah, the way his lower legs telescope, that's a problem, his feet come, can, can, the, 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 the front of the shin panels, they'll flip open and they fall over real easily, the gun is huge, but his arms can only go out to the side, so like, I would like to get it just for, you know, just to say I have a G1 reissue Astro Train, but I'm not hugely driven to get one at this point. Like, I'd like to get it, yeah, sure, but it's not going to be like a highlight in my career, or, um, I'm sorry, highlight in my collection at some point. So there was that, and then there was the Classics version, which I was very much aware of, and I deliberately turned down because, well, the train just kind of stops turns upside down and then there's some wings hanging off the back and that's very much a shuttle's nose hanging on the back and it's got rocket boosters because ah, funny whatever it is and then there's the shuttle mode which actually the shuttle mode is probably the least offensive of the three quite frankly um i didn't mind having the train the front half of the train repeated there that that actually i should be pointing over here but i'm looking at the picture there sorry so there's the the nose of the train is hanging out on the sides which yeah, okay that looks fine i'm, I'm not opposed to that whatever um, by the way, the picture's totally done wrong. They should have closed up the tail instead of spreading it apart. Like, that's the one time where the tail is supposed to be closed up like that, and you fucked it up in the picture. Uh, so anyways, yeah, the shuttle mode is, is not terrible. Like, I, I would get it. Sure, why not? But then the robot mode had enough kibble on it. There's a huge chunks along the side of the, uh, the, 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 the ankles, and then he's got kibble sitting over here, and his backpack is really huge, and he's got way too much kibble that's not really well organized, and his gun exists, so whatever. So, like, uh, uh, classic Astro Chain... I'm not hugely opposed to it, but like I deliberately chose not to get it. I did get a number of classics uh, Transformers at the time, but like that particular Astro Train, like no, I'm good, thanks. It looked kind of nice, but whatever. And my God, there's so many repaints. And then for Titans Returns, they did a brand new Astro Train uh, Leader Class. Uh, the robot mode looks fine. I'm not opposed to the robot mode, but then you have uh, the uh, it's not a jet fighter, I swear to God. You have the space shuttle version, which is okay, but the wings are too small. I just and it's got a clump of nothing sitting on the top. It's so like, eh, whatever. I don't care. And then you have the train mode, which that doesn't look like a train, really. I mean, I have, might have the details of a train, but it doesn't. It's just eh, whatever. Uh, and basically, Astro Train has gone through a lot of repaints and like nods to but at this point I, I, i'm kind of at the point of like okay yeah this actually looks good in all three modes the robot mode looks good the train mode looks good the shuttle mode looks good so like okay now is the time to commit to an astro train and here is the commitment oh they did do a reissue yeah two years ago they did a reissue of astro train at walmart why am i not surprised about this uh yeah they probably don't have it anymore but on the other hand, I wasn't looking for it. So Okay, so there was a reissue, and I totally wasn't aware of it until just now. Uh, let's see, what else? Anything else? Nope, that's it. Okay, yeah, so that's my history with Astro Train, and that's why I got this. Because, like, yes, now is the time to strike. Although I kind of disagree with the Japanese exclusive coloring, but I'll get into that in a moment here. And one thing I want to point out, there's a lot of hollow nothing at the bottom of this box. Like, it's just kind of, because, like, oops, you can't see it. Because, like, here's Astro Train. His gun is, guns are sitting right here. And then here's the tender for the train motor, whatever it is. So, like, everything down here is just hollow. They probably put them in the boxes size because, like, well, we need it to look like a leader class figure, even though it's kind of on the smaller side for a leader class figure. 
Back in the mid-2000 aughts, this would have been considered Voyager class. Can you imagine it, folks? Okay, anyways. So, the reason why this particular version of Astrotrain is colored gray instead of white is because Takara Tomy and Hasbro have had this thing back and forth for years and years and years about Astrotrain. It's like, Astrotrain's originally gray. No, Astrotrain's originally white and black. No, Astrotrain's originally gray and purple. So, like, the Japanese fans have always had the gray and purple version of Astrotrain. American fans have always had the black and white version. So, I think they kind of reached a middle ground at some point here. Whether or not there's a black and white version of this, I'm not certain at this point. According to the wiki, this is the only version. And so, I think, like, Hasbro and Takara are trying to streamline it. So, like, okay, both sides get the same colored version. So, I guess, apparently, this is officially what Astrotrain looks like in, in the West now at this point. So... Which, uh, I, I, I guess, like, I would prefer the black and white version, because, like, black and white and then highlights of purple or whatever it is. But, um, kind of at this point, if this is the only version they release, and, of course, you know, as soon as I publish this video, more than likely there'll be a brand new version that's black and black, and, or white and black, and has highlights of purple. You know, they'll probably do that in, like... <sighs> Um, but yeah, anyways, that's why this version of Astrotrain is purple, or is uh, gray and purple. It's because uh, they, they reached that agreement a number of years ago. That's actually something that I stumbled across accidentally with uh, um, Power of the Prime's uh, Optimal Optimus. I purchased it thinking that it was like a Japanese, and it actually is a Japanese exclusive repaint, except that it's not. It's exactly the same figure, it's just brand, it's just like the box is um the bu ooh, instructions okay uh it's just branded as um it's branded as japanese but in fact it's ex identical to the u.s version so like i paid extra for an import when i thought that i was paying extra for a japanese repaint imagine my disappointment wow this is a nice thick instruction booklet oh thank god it's not colored in, you know, a black background, gray figure, and then, or, uh, yeah, a black background, dark gray figure, and then, like, purple highlights. I'm glad they're doing it this way. I can actually fucking see what's going on. I'm glad they fixed that. Thank you, Hasbro. Thank you very much, because that was a huge pain in the ass during the, um, you know, Titans Returns and, and uh, Combiner Wars and the third one, Power of the Primes. So, thank you for fixing that. God, this guy has four guns and a rocket pod. Good grief. <gasps> okay, well, I will find that later. In the most painful way possible. These guns look like they were uh, molded in one color and then painted in another. They've got that indication of like, oh yeah, the guns have been completely repainted. Like, why? Just mold them in black. Come on. So we've got a rocket pod, which is brand new to this figure. It even has exhaust ports on the back. Nice touch. It's got two mounting points on it, or two pegs, and then one hole. So you could put this thing pretty much anywhere you want to. I wonder if I could stick it on the shoulder. That would be nice. Have uh, two smaller guns. Wait, are these? Oh no, they're not. Oh, it's a combining gun. So it's like two pistols combined into a larger gun. Boo. So we've got two of these. Oh, I bet they peg together. No, they do not. They don't? They don't? What? He's got three different guns. Or does he? Oh, no. Okay, so he's got this gun, and then there are two of these, which actually don't fit together. They'll actually peg to the sides, but they don't fit together. I, I, can I peg one on top of the other? No, okay. So he's got this gun, he's got these guns, he's got a rocket pod, and then he has a Gatling gun which is totally hollow on this side, whatever. Dude, he's got he's got four different guns and a missile launcher. What the hell? Whatever. I don't know Astro Train. Like he he's a he's a military he's a Decepticon military transport and it's like okay, so I guess he uh, okay, whatever. So here's the train tender. Uh, 
has wheels on both sides, so honestly I don't know. I guess it I guess it goes this way. I guess. And then this rotates. That's kind of neat. Astro Train has never had a tender before, so this is new for, for this, this version. This also explains how they're able to get away with a bit of uh, uh, mass shifting or whatever it is, so the figure doesn't have to be huge. You know, they can they can attach this to the train mode to justify a bigger train or a bigger shuttle mode or whatever it is, so okay. It's just just a it's just a box. And I'm guessing it goes like this, and I would be wrong. Which direction do you flip? Okay, it opens from the side, obviously. Ooh, okay. There's a there's a panel right there. Okay, there's a hinge there, so why isn't it? There we go. Okay, yeah, that's what I was looking for. And that goes there. Okay. So that's there. I wonder if any of these guns come apart. This one might. No, nope, that one doesn't. And that one doesn't. So I can get one, two, three guns in there. Nope, I can't get any of them in there. Hmm. What's the point of having a train tender if you can't stick anything in it? Well, we'll see what happens. Let's see. And that taps in there. Okay. So this is held together with friction on this thing, like completely unfolds or something. So, okay. So just before I started rolling the webcam, uh, I looked at TF Wiki, and it turns out that this figure is actually a reissue of the Siege version from two years ago. So. I didn't know that they reissued it. And as a reissue, there's actually no changes to this whatsoever. And apparently there's some sort of, and, and as I was reading through the wiki, because the figure is, this Earthrise figure is identical in every way to the Siege version, except for the packaging. Packaging is different. Uh, apparently this has some, has like some sort of flawed connection issue. So uh, we'll, we'll see what happens there. I don't know, maybe I can figure it out. Or maybe I can figure out it doesn't work. But you know what? If it's if it's a reissue, I, I guess I can't complain too much. Like, oh, why wasn't there an updated version? Well, yeah, maybe maybe there need to be. If, if it is a reissue, like, yeah, here's the opportunity to fix some shit that you did and you didn't fix it. Yeah, that might be worth complaining about. But I won't know until I get into this. How am I supposed to get those around the wings without scratching the paint. There goes another one. Get in there. Oh my god. Really? Ah. Ooh, he's got a waist swivel. That's good. Oh. Wow. This is a good-sized Astro Train, and holy crap, the detailing on the back. Whoa! Look at it, look at this freaking look at all this detail back here. Nice, dude. He's got griblies all over the place. Wasn't there a? Uh, oh yeah, yeah, there was. I was gonna say, wasn't there a Titan Titans Return version where you could you know pull the head off and there were the little missile launcher things inside? And I'm like, oh yeah, that's the one I deliberately skipped. Oh, the details on this guy are really good. It's just... Dude, he even has front skirt armor. What the hell? He's got front skirt armor. Dude. How often do you see that on Transformers? Well, Rotostorm that I've, I've now officially put away. Uh, Rotostorm, the way his hips... The, the way his hip armor works, which is obviously not how it could work on humans... Um, technically, he's got hip skirts, or he's got he's got skirt armor that like moves when his entire hip does. So like, that's kind of so. Oh, there's the waist joint, and a double elbow joint. That's always a plus. Forearms are a bit on the hollow side because that's where the hand goes. Whatever. He's a nice chunky boy. I like it. 
I, I can't I can't get over the detailing of the back of his wings. I mean, obviously that's where the train stuff hangs up, but still, look, look at the way this this folds down here like that. You can't see it. God, I wish I had a better webcam. That was the detail is really nice, and it's it's Cybertronian detail, by the way. It's not. Um, here's some stuff left over for or wait, is it? Oh, my mistake. Well, actually, it's difficult to tell. Oh, I think maybe maybe it is just the 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 train mode stuff is just sitting there. So, hello, can I pass that. Oh, there's another wheel right there. Okay. <laughs> I, I guess they're going to go with that fake wheel on the front of the uh, front of the train mode again. You know, the trains don't have it, but Astro Train did. Rocket engines, love the detailing in there. It's really nice. Totally blurry on your screen there. Yep, that looks nice. I do like that. And it's just covered in panel detailing all over the place. Really, really nice. So tilt side to side. Is it on a ball joint? He does have an up and down. Yep, his head's on a ball joint. I wasn't expecting that. And he can look up. Just he just kind of like. That's it. He just just enough to kind of nod like, uh huh, yeah, whatever. And that's all he does. He cannot look up. So none of that, you know, flying this way and he's looking up. Can't do that. Uh, but the question is, do they fold back? Probably not with that there. No, they do not. Okay. So the wing tips only fold forward. They do not fold back. That's okay. I haven't had an itchy nose on camera. Good lord. Eh. There's there's a transformation joint sitting to either side of his head. Some of it is molded in purple and others have been painted purple. It's like they were molded and they were molded in gray and then they were painted purple, but you can obvious you can very obviously tell where one's been painted and the other hasn't. Nice one. Maybe if you'd molded it in white it wouldn't have been an issue. Do his packs open up? Seriously? Probably for the transformation. I feel I feel like his his torso opens up. Oh, please tell me this opens up, please. Um. Oh no, the way that that folds, that's hinged there. Oh, maybe not. Well, I don't know. I feel I, I feel like his entire upper torso can like fold open something like that like maybe maybe you can see like his spark chamber or something I don't know. do the wrists turn no they do not but they do fold away for transmission which is fine and standard posability in the legs this is fine does it have a thigh swivel yes it does how do his feet go his feet go his feet do not go no wait I see a joint um is that pegged in there? Or maybe they can't turn that way? You know what? I'll leave his feet alone for now. Oh, wait. Well, it's, it's weird. There's two different joints there, but... Oh, well, I guess not. Okay, so I guess his feet are the... You know, think of it this way. His feet are the only thing that can't move in robot mode. That's really strange. He can do everything except... So let's see, I get him into a kind of a running flight pose mode or something, I don't know. And his head turns up also slightly. See, he can do this. But the only thing you can't move is his feet. That's weird. Okay. Gosh, all these greeblies, all these panel details are driving me crazy. Like, if you're trying to make it look like G1, which this very much is, by the way, this, I, I would dare say, just my limited knowledge of G1, I would say this is probably one of, if not the most G1 accurate uh, robot mode of Astro Train that we've ever gotten. And again, because I'm not an Astro Train fan, I can't really say. Actually, now that I think about it, I don't think I've ever watched a version of Transformers that had Astro Train in it. It's like I didn't I didn't watch the Unicron trilogy with the exception of um, um, Galaxy Force, which is Galaxy Force, which is the Japanese version of Cybertron, but that didn't have Astro Train in it. Um, 
I didn't watch G1. He's not in Beast Wars. Uh, I didn't watch either of the RIDs. Um, did I already say animated? Yeah, he's not in animated. He's not even mentioned in animated. Well, he might be mentioned, but you never see him, so... Um, yeah, there's no... This is like my first exposure to Astro Train. Oh, he, he, oh, yeah, that's right. Like, he, I, I saw Siege and I saw Earthrise. I regret both of those decisions. Um, but again, Astro Train's not in either one of those. So, you know. Now, the toy is part of Siege and Earthrise, but he doesn't actually appear in the mini series or the streaming series or whatever it is. So, I wonder if the backpack can, oh, yeah. Let's see, there's something's moving here. Oh, his wings move. Oh, okay. So there's transformation. So he can get his wings way up there. So what I want to know is, because the uh, the rocket engines for the shuttle um, were notorious for saying that. Eh, kind of, oh, okay, yeah, it's an entire panel. So you you can get the uh, you can get the shuttle engines to point to a number of different angles if you so desire. I want to say the original version, I could be totally wrong, I shouldn't have closed TF Wiki yet, but I want to say the original version, G1 Astro Train, or G1 version, I think the rocket engines were pointed in a very direction. So good, you can you can point the engines up, or you can point them down, if you so desire. I actually kind of like having them pointed up like that. I don't know why, it just, just kind of works. Hmm, huh, neat. And, the, and, and then there's the whole other half of him. <laughs> Which I, I suppose, I guess I should get this opened up, so, or I should uh, look at the instruction. Oh my god. Oh my god, you can put all the guns together into one mega weapon? Oh, hell yes! Oh, I guess that makes sense, because the G1 Astro Train, his gun was, was like really flipping big. Oh god, you can, you can just stick it on his... Oh! Oh! Oh, oh, oh! It's a good thing I pulled open the instructions, because I didn't know I could do that. Okay. Um, okay, so there's, 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 there's a degree of, okay, I didn't know that. Okay, it's a good thing I opened the instructions, or else uh, I would not have known about that. So apparently, they're acknowledging that this is a slightly smallish, um, Astro Train, because, let's see. Let's see, like this, like this, yes, and then, so you open the sides... Boy, that almost popped off. No, it didn't. Shut up. You open the top, and you flip down the bottom all the way. All the way. Are there two joints here. Oh, <laughs> it rotates. That's funny. Oh, that gets it flattened out. Okay, all right. And then it just says pull these out. Huh? All right then. <laughs> Remove this item. Yeah, sure. How? Ezra, you want to be a little clear on this? How do I remove these panels? How, how do I... Ouch. How do I remove this panel? Because I see the joint... Okay, how how do I remove this? How do I use this, remove this gray panel? Um, oh, do I just pull? Oh, it, oh, it slides out. Okay, yeah, I was pulling up. I was trying to, I was trying to untab or pull this way, and like, no, you actually just physically slide it out. Okay, all right, I, that that wasn't that wasn't very clear. And then they take the panel. Here's the thing that I was woeing about. You take the panel and you pull it apart. Uh, okay, first things first. Okay, so you, you unhinge everything just to get that panel out. Okay. And then, and then this just, this just sits here. Whatever. And then, like that, right? Where's that tab? Okay. Alright. So now it's on, so, now it's become a hollow box. And then the rocket... Peg and points are there. So you just stick this on the back. 
Which, okay, if you want to take care of your kibble, I suppose there are worse things that can happen than have a massive box sitting on your backs, on your back. Now that I think about it, um, animated uh, hunger. No, no, hunger. Yeah, right. No, animated uh, Rekar. That's his name. Rekar. He basically had his in the the the. He, he was a he was a um, uh, uh, a garbage truck, and so the entire garbage box, whatever it is, was just sit on his back. It, to be fair, he had a pair of forklifts hanging down. It's an extra pair of legs, so whatever. So like, it's not the first time I've seen something like this before. That being said, uh, okay, whatever. But then. We take these panels here, the, the the panels we just pulled off here, and we stick them on the bottom of his feet, which give him massive heels. Oh god, how do I get this off? Oh shit. Um. Uh, I didn't look before I did this, and I'm dumb. Is it just the one peg? Oh, it's landing gear for the. Uh... Wait, how does that work? If that's landing gear, how does that work? Is there another hinge work here? Um, if you were going to do landing gear for a shuttle, I don't think... Does it slide? I don't know. I'll worry about it later. Okay, so I'll take the second gray panel, which only pegs into the bottom of his toe. That's the only place it pegs in. You know, now that I think about it, I've got Siege uh, Shockwave, which is the, the Galactic Man repaint. I've got that. And so this would have been made at the same time. So I guess it makes sense that he would have uh, mounting points for all these things. Oh, yeah, and he's got weaponizer ports all over the place, I just realized. along he's, he's got one on the side of his shoulder. He's got one on his forearm, on the top of each wing, on the sides of the, the thing here. Okay, so you can take the tender... And you can you can attach it both to the, the 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 his back and to his feet, which gives him a lot more stability. Okay, so it's actually it's actually, I was wondering about that. It's like yeah, how are you gonna? Okay, all right. Is there a thigh symbol? Yes, there is. It's just really tight going that direction. Okay, well I kind of need it to be loose. There we go. All right, okay. With those panels, and then <laughs> here here comes the good stuff. All those guns I was telling you about earlier, he, they're just telling you to just stick them on him. That's great. Okay. Oops. Oops. That was really tight friction going in. I should not have done that. That's what she said. Okay, and then he's got four guns he had to deal with. He's got four of these things. Oh my god. Where's the Gatling? Gatling's on his left hand. Is that the Gatling? Yes. So Gatling Gun's his left hand. The problem with molding all of his weapons in black is that they disappear in the gray and the um, uh, the the black. Or, I'm sorry, the gray and the purple. All those weapons just kind of disappear. Which, you know, if this were a camouflage bot, that would be different. And then... <laughs> I didn't know about this. I didn't know about this. This is great. Oh, this is awesome. Now he's got like five different weapons here. Of course, like I was just telling you, like it's 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 black weapons on a gray and purple figure. That makes it so difficult to point this out, but Oh my god. And then here's the here's the missile pod right here. What in the hell? <laughs> I guess I guess a big bot should have a lot of big guns. I can live with this, but wait, there's more. Ooh, it is not easy to take this off. Yikes! Oh boy. Uh, note to self: never, ever, ever put the tender on the sh on the the, the rocket engines in uh, robot mode. Never do that again. Oh shit! The friction is real. Okay, well, it's good that panel comes off, but holy fucking shit. I'm never doing that ever again. And I'll bet you it's required to do that in um, uh, train mode. I, I bet that's how the tender attaches to the... Okay, um, yeah, the, the, 
these these pegs the friction on them is significant and considering how easily his backpack disassembles or yeah considering how easily all these all these articulating joints you can see right here makes it really it, it's really easy to push it on it's really difficult to pull it off so there's going to be complications later on okay I was like okay let's just pull this off and I'm like holy shit that's hard that's what she said. I'm wondering if the friction on his uh, elbows is going to become an issue later on. Not certain. Hmm. That's a very tiny peg for such a significant joint. I might have made that a little larger. Okay, so I'm going to want to reassemble this. Now, I mentioned earlier that G1 Astro Train is a really huge fuck you gun. Apparently, you can take all these weapons that I've been messing around with, and you can also turn them into a giant fuck you gun. And that's what I'm going to do right now. Okay, that goes on the bottom. So, missile pod goes on the bottom of this one. And then the other is just anchored to this. This plugs into the Gatling gun. ha! <laughs> And then these two attached to the sides. Oh, this is going to be lovely when it's done. Okay. Alright. Astro Train is his giant fuck you gun. <laughs> Which is way bigger than, you know, anything. But, I mean, it, it, it you know, it's, it's the effort that counts. So, there you go. Astro Train has returned to his giant G1 gun. Very appropriate, and very appropriate that it can barely hang on to it, too. There it is, right there. Fr friction in that shoulder joint is now officially dead. It is now officially dead. There you go. It can barely hold it, but even the slightest touch sends it all the way down. So, all right, Astro, G1 Astro Train gets his giant gun again, and he's got a missile pod, and he's got uh, two sub blasters on the side or something like that. I can live with this. I can live with this. That's great. All that. But wait, there's more. <laughs> there's more. I haven't even started transforming him yet, and there's more. So apparently you want to point the missiles inwardly. Which doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. Why would you... Ooh, how do I get this out of there? Oh, shit, there's nowhere to put my fingers. Oh, shit. Ah! No! How do I... Okay, Okay, crisis averted. You you can point the missile launcher forward. Okay, that's how I'm gonna do it. That gives that gives me some wiggle room. So, okay, there's there's the missile launcher on the bottom. Sits right there. Gatling gun goes on the right. Or I'm sorry, Gatling gun goes on the left, which means I have to turn the missile launcher around. God damn it! We're just not making this easy for big fingers, are they? Okay, so you have to point the missile launcher towards the towards the back of the thing. I don't know why, but yeah. oh, it doesn't even go all the way. What? Unless I've got it on the wrong side. No, I don't. And then the other ion, the open other open barrel goes on the opposite side. Oh, so you actually can get all the weapons in here at the same time. Look at this shit. You've got a gun here, and one on the opposite side. You've got got the Gatling gun here, and you've got the other blaster here, and then wedged in between them is the missile launcher. There's one. There's the other. Bottom of this thing goes up. Oh, wait, no, those go up first. That picks in there. Right? Right, yeah. That goes down. Okay, so I was mistaken. You actually can store all the guns in here. Good to know. Okay, so that's, that's how it's stored. I want to say that this is also a like an unofficial like base mode or something like that. You know, it did mention or the wiki did mention something about a base mode. Oh, I see. So the tender turns into a launch platform for the shuttle. <laughs> oh, okay, it does it a couple different ways. <laughs> So it, the tender not only holds the arsenal of freedom, but it also holds, 
It's a crawler transport vehicle for the shuttle mode, and it's a launch pad for the shuttle mode. And then this can attach to, you know, I'll get to that when I get to the shuttle mode. That's all. That's what I'll do. The, oh my God! What is this? Oh, this is getting good. This is getting good. Astro Chain, don't you dare let me down. I've waited 30 years to get one of you. Don't you dare let me down at this stage. <laughs> 